WrestleMania season is here as WrestleMania 39, night one, gets started. With the first match being John Cena and Austin Theory. So let's get this review underway. So how was Cena versus Theory? Well, uh, Cena's entrance this year was a little special. Uh, different, but special in the sense that there was a bunch of like Make-A-Wish Foundation kids. Um... In the in the entrance ramp, and you know, Cena came out and took up like you know, posts with all of them and all that stuff. So yeah, it was a pretty cool entrance. It was special in that sense, right? It must have been great for those kids and all that. So that was great to see. It's always cool to see stuff like that. And love or hate Cena, I love all the stuff he's he's always done with the Make a Wish kids. So I thought that was really nice, heartwarming entrance. So how was the match itself? I thought the match was fine. Like, I I don't think the match was as good as I was hoping it was. I think it was just, that, that would be the word fine. I like Theory's heel work. At one point, he bit Cena's ear. At one point, he bit, he bit Cena's uh, hands when he was in the STF. Um, there was a little shocking because Theory win. Theory won here. And the thing that was shocking was he won with the finisher one time. Uh, when he hit his finisher, I was fully expecting Cena to kick out, and he didn't. So, how did Theory win, though? So, Cena was originally going to win. He was going for the AA. The referee got knocked out. And then he got him with the STF. For some reason, Theory was tapping out. And Cena decided, let me let go of him. Even though the bell never rang. Come on, Cena. You're smarter than this. How long have you been in the business again? So, yeah. The bell didn't even ring because the referee wasn't conscious. And, well, Cena let him go. It was just it was so weird. And then Cena turned around, got hit with the low blow. Then the referee was getting up as Theory hit the, his finisher and won. It was shocking, one, because I, you know, when Cena loses, he loses the multiple finishers, not a single finisher, which all of a sudden Theory's finisher is, it makes him, it makes him seem like a superstar finisher because, oh my God, he took out Cena in one finisher. Holy hell. Didn't see that coming. So yeah. The match itself was fine. I, I don't think anything really exciting or any spot in it was like, oh, shit. It was fine, though. It was it was not as good as I was hoping it was, but it was also not a very, like, it wasn't a bad match or anything like that. It was just fine. A fine way to give off WrestleMania. The crowd seemed a little bit stunned by Cena losing. I'll be honest, that was kind of funny and cool. But, yeah, that was Theory and Cena overall guessing up. Which, it must be said that Theory winning was 100%. The way to go. He is the future. Cena's here on a part-time basis. He didn't need to win this match. He didn't need the title. This needed to be Theory's moment. So after that, we had some tag team action between the Viking Raiders, the Street Profits, Alpha Academy, Braun Strowman, and Ricochet. And what I thought was going to be a, a kind of lamish fight. I didn't think I didn't, wasn't expecting much for this match because there's nothing important here. There's no title. There's no nothing. In fact, even I think it was Michael Cole. Uh, who said, uh, oh, whoever wins your might be a uh, title contention. Like, might? So, like, what? Might? So, this isn't even really a technical one, number one contenders match. But what I thought was going to be kind of lamish match was honestly tons and tons of fun. Honestly, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a blast. Everybody played their part really good. And, you know, it helps that every team had a big man and every team had a smaller guy. And there was people flying around. I mean... Like Ricochet flying outside. Uh, that was really impressive. The Street Profits were on fire here. At one point, everybody suplexed each other from the corner. Uh, you know, suplex on top of the other person, on top of the other person type of thing. And yeah, it was an amazing spot. I can never get tired of that spot. And yeah, at one point, all four big bands were in the in the ring. At one point, everybody was in the ring just brawling it out. It was honestly... A ton, a ton of fun. The Street Profits won by pinning Ricochet. Uh, the Street Profits winning was probably the right call. So, yeah, we'll see. This match honestly gets an up. This, I had nothing negative to say about this match. I didn't expect much of it. And it just surpassed my expectations. Maybe that was the difference between the first match. I had high expectations and it just didn't meet them. Even though the match was not bad. So, yeah, this match honestly gets an up. Tons and tons of fun tag team action. And then we have Seth freaking Rollins versus Logan Paul in what might be Logan's Paul's the match. Because he said this is it for his contract. So unless he signs a new contract, which I hope he does, 
Uh, this is it for Logan Paul. This is it for his career. Which, if it is, wow, not a single bad match. I mean, the dude is impressive, and the dude delivered here. Unlike the Cena Theory match, where I had high expectations where the match could not live up to him. This match, I had high expectations, and it honestly, in my opinion, delivered and more. It was just fantastic back and forth. I like how Logan Paul, despite being a celebrity because of his skill in the ring, right? Even if it is, for, you know, practice and rehearse, like, the man's put the work in. The fact that he's been able to go out here, compete with Seth, Roman, The Miz, and have these, honestly, really good, great matches, because he delivers every single time, it's quite impressive, and the credit must be given to him. And I hope he signs another contract. But if this is it, what a match to go out on, because this match delivered surpass my expectations unlike the Cena and Theory one which did not meet my expectations of what I expected this one really really did this one surpassed my expectations and my god what a match it was it was just fantastic back and forth at one point I thought you know Logan gets this and yeah and he did and it was an involvement from a YouTuber called KSI I don't know who the hell that is but he got involved. He got a, a, a table broken because uh, it was really funny. So Logan Paul went to the top uh, top turnbuckle. He was going to jump to the outside to the announcer table where Rollins was laying down. And he grabbed Mr. Energy Drink or whatever, put him on the table. And Mr. Logan Paul broke the table with his buddy and got hit by a pedigree. And I thought that was it. And Mr. Logan Paul actually kicked out of that. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, seriously? Like, we saw Cena lose the one finisher earlier. We got Logan Paul out here. King out of a pedigree. Impressive. Honestly, the match was really good. Seth Rollins won in super amazing fashion. Logan Paul was at the top. Turnbuckle jumped. Got hit by a super kick. And then followed by a curve stomp. It was really good. The match was awesome. It delivered. It exceeded my expectations. I hope Logan Paul will see you wrestle again. And if not... What a way to go out on. Even if it was a little short career, what a way to go out on. It was really, really good. I can't hopefully wait to see more of Mr. Logan here. And, yeah, Seth needed this WrestleMania win. He really needed this win. Whether this was it for Logan or not, he needed a, a, a Mania win. He's needed a win, period. Because the man, I don't know, looks like he just can't win a match, even though he delivers constantly. So, yeah, Logan Paul. Seth Rollins, Heavy Metal Horns for Awesome. The match was fantastic. The match was fast paced, back and forth, action all over the place. A, t a nice table spot. Uh, yeah, man, really go check this match out. Heavy Metal Horns for Awesome. Then we had Damage Control versus Lita, Trish Stratus, and Becky Lynch. And this match was good. But I don't know what it was. At the same time, it wasn't as good as it could have been or it should have been. I don't know if it was maybe because the crowd was dead at times and then would like pop big for like a big spot. Because there was a few big spots in here. Fun spots. Um, you know. But I don't know. I don't know what it was about this match. that just It wasn't as good as it should have been. Like the match was good, but not great. But it was nowhere near bad or anything like that. It's just, there was just something in here that for me, personally, I could not connect that much in. And I love all the women in this match. Especially who would have thought you would have, you were going to see Lita and Trish get in the ring. I don't know if it was maybe the crowd that I wasn't into this match as much as the previous matches. Maybe, you know, because the crowd plays a big part in, in the match being good. Because a, a live crowd will make a match feel more special. So, yeah. And I don't know what it was, but it was a good match. But I just expected more, I guess. Overall, though, uh, Becky, Trish, and Lita won. That much control loses again. <laughs> the match will get enough because the match was good. It just, I don't know. I thought it would have been a little better, but it gets enough. And after that was one of the most, uh, one of the most anticipated matches, at least for me. And it was Dominic Mysterio versus Rey Mysterio, father versus son. I felt like the story here has been honestly very great. Slow building since September. So right from September all the way to April. And it, it happened. The culmination of it all, their match here happened. And <clears throat> honestly, I it was really good. I really liked it. I personally thought the match was great. And it was just amazing that both 
of these guys got to showcase what they can do. We all know what Ray can do, but a lot of times I see a lot of hate towards Dominic Mysterio. Oh, the guy can hang in there. The guy's not good, but this match was really good. And he shows that he can actually wrestle. Like, if there are any doubters out there, this is the match to show you. No, he can wrestle. The match was good. It was back and forth. There was a little shenanigans here with Judgment Day and, and the little uh, LWO, Bad Bunny. But it doesn't detect, it doesn't detract from the match whatsoever. The match, honestly, was a ton of fun. Rey Mysterio won because of Bad Bunny's interference, because Dominic was going to cheat. I personally think Dominic should have won, but it almost seems like the story might not be over here. There might be more. And if that's the case, and Ray won here, but the feud goes on, and maybe they wrestle at Backlash again, maybe Dominic can get his win at Backlash, maybe that's what's going to happen. Because there's potential for this to keep going. Even though there's been slowly building since September, it has potential to keep going. going. And honestly, I would like to see more of it. I really would. I feel like it's it's been a great feud overall. I think everybody's invested, and this match delivered. And who knows, maybe the second match can even be even better on top of it. But I honestly thought this match was... I was really invested in this match. The crowd was really invested in this match. Which is maybe what the problem with the last ma match was. The crowd wasn't as invested. And I just think this match was honestly uh, a lot of good uh, fun. And Dom's uh, heel work has been great. As he talked to his mom and sister. Threw a drink at his sister. And all that. Did the Eddie taunt. Like, his entrance was amazing. Mm -hmm. As he came out, <laughs> escorted by police, you know, because, you know, he he went to jail. So, yeah, it was all great. The match honestly gets enough for me. I honestly really thought it was great. Hell, heavy metal, heavy, heavy, heavy metal horns, man. I love the match. Rey Mysterio came out to Viva La Raza, which I really hope, I told my friend Jordan, I hope Dominic will come out to that. But Rey did. But it's fine. It's fine. Both, both entrances were cool. Really love Dom's. His entrance was dope. If there was only one negative thing in the match, is how it was sponsored by Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and it was the signs were everywhere. It was annoying. It wasn't the right match to fucking use that shit. And then it was Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, the rematch three years later. And if you thought their first match was good because their encounter three years ago was good, this match blew that one out the fucking water. This match was intense, hard hitting. The crowd investment was so in there. Everybody was involved. This match was just intense. The crowd, myself, I was jumping of joy. I was so invested. This was a long match, but a long, great match. I honestly did not know who was going to win. Would Charlotte win a second time? Would Rhea finally take it? Well,. Rhea won with a riptide from the top turnbuckle. How hard hitting, how intense was that? There was a, a few occasions I'm like, oh no, Rhea, Rhea you're going to lose again. But no, it was not to be a Rhea did it and the crowd went nuts. This match, if it comes to one-on-one -on -one action for this night, this is the match you watch. This is the match you see. I expected this match to be good and it over-delivered. In what I expected. I did not expect it to be this amazing. I expected it to be good. Not great. And great. But not this just excellent. Because this was just excellent. The match was just. Mm -hmm. Hardcore. Which is funny because there was nothing hardcore. In terms of like weapons. But the match was just. They were hitting each other. And it was hurting me. Seriously, if there is a match, a one-on-one -on -one match to watch from this pay-per-view, this is the one. This is the match that shows you women can compete in the same level as men. Like, how far women wrestling has come from the days of before. This match is honestly just a kick-ass match all around. Not a single dumb, dull moment. Sometimes matches can slow down and go up and down in the quality, but this match is... It was it was on fire, and the fire just never stopped. And Rhea winning with the riptide on top of the torn buckle was just the icing on the cake. Heavy metal horns for awesome because the match was just phenomenal. And after that, 
come to me saying, Snoop Dogg, and they're here to announce the numbers of how many people are here. <laughs> the number's probably fake, like every year. Um, I don't know why they don't just say real numbers. <laughs> the real numbers. Um, and the Miss and Snoop Dogg are talking about how the Miss doesn't have a match and all that nonsense. Miss claims he said on a, a tweet, Instagram, of, of letting out a challenge and nobody respond. Out comes Pat McAfee as a surprise uh, a guest here at the Royal at the Royal Rumble. Forgive me, WrestleMania 39. And then he comes in and he says, well, we didn't see this tweet. I didn't see this. I live on social media, but I accept. And then the match happens. And this match is essentially... Miss getting dropped out to Pat McAfee. I don't think Miss had any offense in this match. He just got dropped out the entire time. Just sold everything. We had shenanigans from a fellow football player whose name I don't know because I don't watch football. The 49ers. And yeah, and shenanigans. It was just really more comedy and funny stuff. Like the match was not any like masterpiece or anything like that. Like it not even close. It was, in quality would probably be the weakest match of the whole night. But it was just really just a funny match to see. It was entertaining in that aspect. I was laughing. And Pat McAfee wins <laughs> with nonsense. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was that. Pat McAfee versus The Miz, a match nobody knew was going to happen. That just, I, I guess it gets an up. <laughs> I mean, I, I, or just in the middle. It doesn't get an up or a down. It's just in the middle for me because it was a whatever thing. So it's in the middle, uh, in the middle. And then it was the main event. The ones, the Usos, defending the undisputed tag team titles against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. To be honest with all of you, in my opinion, Sami Zayn should have dethroned Roman Reigns and become undisputed Universal Champion. But that clearly wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. So this came to a second best thing. Not what was best for Sami, but a second best option and it's unfortunate that it came down to a second best thing and not what we all really wanted that being said one it was cool to see a tag team match main event wrestlemania especially for the tag titles say that to somebody a year ago or two years ago and nobody would have believed you because the tag division for the most part has been a joke or consisted of just you so it's carrying everything so the fact that we had a tag team title match main event a mania Speaks volume of how far this tag division's come. So, what of the match itself? Well, after a boring and slow start, that even the crowd was semi dead, and I was a little stunned myself after that. I thought, what's going on with the crowd? I don't know if the crowd was maybe exhausted from Rhea and Charlotte, that you know, which happened two matches prior, not you know, counting the Pat McAfee one. Uh, maybe that's what led to the beginning match being kind of dead with the fans. But once the match picked up, the crowd picked up, and the crowd was on fire, and the crowd was into it. And it was honestly a really, really good match. Once you get past the first few minutes, that even I was like, okay, come on, I was expecting a little bit more. It was a slow starter, but once it gets going, the match just never let up. The match didn't disappoint. The match kicked all kinds of ass. The story, the emotions, the feelings of everything in the storyline that's led to this point. Everything kicked here full circle with the bloodline and Sammy and Kevin Owens. The match itself was fantastic. <sighs> Kevin Owens got thrown <laughs> through an announcer table. Super kicks all over the place. It was crazy at one point. There were two occasions where I really thought, oh my god, the users are retaining. They're really doing this to us here. They, they, you know, it should have been obvious that Kevin and Sammy were winning considering they, they're closing the night. I feel like if the users were going to retain, they wouldn't have closed the night because then they would have just sent everybody home angry. So I think that kind of made it obvious in a way that the users were losing. That being said, the match still delivered. It still was, the match was still fun. Stunners. Haluva kicks, which was amazing because Sami Zayn won by delivering three Haluva kicks on Jey Uso. Three. One, two, three, and killed him. Jimmy was out with a stunner. So, yeah, honestly, you really should go watch this match. This was a fantastic match. This was honestly a really, really good first night for WrestleMania.
39. Really, the only matches that were like, and there was really not a bad match in any way, in, in, in any part of the card. Sure, there was some week and then there was like last place for sure would be Pat McAfee and The Miss. And even the Becky one, in my opinion, this is all my opinion, that one was not as good as it could have been. The Cena and, and Theory one was not as good as it could have been. But the Rhea Ripley match could have also been the main event here. Because of how, that, that to me was a five-star match, Rhea and, and Charlotte. So, like, that was an amazing match. This was an amazing match. Ray and Dominic was an amazing match. I love the part where Ray whooped Dominic with the belt. Funny, comedy and great. So really, it, the ma- the pay per view, even the, the 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 random you know four team uh, tag team match, which was they didn't feel that important, ended up being a lot of fun. So yeah, it's safe to say that Saturday, April first, this is not an April Fool's joke. Was a great night to be a wrestling fan. So hopefully, night two will be just as good. I'm sure we're all gonna dread Brock versus Omos. That being said, though. This was a really, really overall good night. A really good WrestleMania. So, let's see what tomorrow brings. This has been my review. Oh, by the way, the Usos match gets a heavy metal horn for awesome. Because it was awesome. Like I said, after the slow start, once the match got going, the match never stopped. Once Kevin Owens got tagged in at first, the match just let up. And the crowd then got into it. And the crowd was on fire. So, yeah. They guess have you better horns for awesome. Amazing. So this has been the one, the only, Brian Redgrave with my review of WrestleMania 39. Can you believe it? 39 WrestleMania. 39 night one.